That's the question. Are they going to go for that 2v1? I think SK Gaming have a key to holding SK in place. Who's going to go first? That's the question, because in the top, Sven Skrins there. The bobble is key. It lands on towards N-Rated. It's not going to be enough damage, and they're going to force away from that one. N-Rated proving he's tanky. He's got that pack. He landed the zap onto Mr. Ross. They've caught him rated. They've caught him once again. If they're going to put the damage down, the Ignite's there. This should be enough. First blood. It goes to Mixer. So well played. Once again, just landing yet another bubble. Once again, he's making his way down. This time he's been spotted out in there. You can see the Aqua Prison on towards N-Rated, followed by the wave. Is it going to be enough damage? The Chompers goes down. But N-Rated's trying to dodge out there. And they do get away. Meanwhile, the jungle, you can see Impaler was getting collapsed upon. And they're going to turn this on towards Fence going And Belly Slam comes in. Will he repel? Jesus gets on towards Impaler. They will get the kill. The rest of Super Hot Crew joining in, though. So it's going to trouble. Where's he going to run to? Nowhere, because Mr. Rallis is there. So they trade two kills for Super Hot Crew. Jungle is not safe anymore. Oh, look at Ray. He's flashed in. That's going to be an idler. Durant lands. Mr. Rallis teleport coming in from the side. There's Jesus. That's going to be Mr. Rallis going down. Mixer's going to be the focus target now. Quick force balls will slow him down. He's not going to be able to escape this one. Who will they give it to? It's going to be Candy Panda for a double. And that's exactly what we talked about. The burst down. Well, as Mr. Rallis Lucian, they have caught Spence Karen. He's dead. He's going to get caught out. I don't think he's going to be able to escape this one. Where's he going to repel to? Nowhere at all. Can he manage to get away? Belly slam comes in. And Moops, well, he finished it with the explosive cask. A little over. Deal, we'll see. Impaler's caught in the wrong side of the pit, and now Jezus may want to engage. He going in. Impaler's taken very low here. He's going to get dropped. His candy panda, the pixel, yet another. Moops now over, but he may well be the next target. The ward goes down from N-Rated. Candy panda flashes through, gets himself the double, but he's going to pay the price. Mr. Rallis now goes down. Sven Skeren comes in and cleans that one up. It's a three for one so far. There's no tower to run to. Mixer's going to drop, and it's a four for one to SK Gaming. Super Hot Crew may have got the dragon, but I don't think it was worth it. Not worth indeed. The dragon is up now, and that's where they're going to be targeting. Mixer's going to get caught out by the blue buff. Jezzes is coming, Rift walked across. He's already had to use that ultimate, but he can see just the repel catches on towards him. The cocoon's in there, and wow. that is going to be the uh, ultimate death. stop. And here comes my map. Teleport coming behind it towards him, but it's going to be too soon. A flash idol. Here we go. They're all grouped up. Can they go for it? And Rage is taking so low. He does. He catches all five members quickly, gets popped straight out of it. Have they got the damage to turn this around? No, because they do not have Freddy 1 2 2, but they've lost one support. For the turret. Super hot crew trying to gather for this mid lane, but that's maybe going to be Sven Skerin caught out. Repels nowhere to go. Goes across the mixer. Gets away. No, not quite. Impaler's going to pay the price, so he tries to jump onto Candy Panda. Not really who you need because he's just going to turn and run. Gets the attack speed buff. Gets onto Mixer. Mixer's going to go down. Jess has picked up that kill. Now SK can stick in this mid wave. The rest of SK realizing there's an opportunity and then moving down to catch him. Impaler is at risk of getting popped yet. They fancy going for it. Candy Panda's going to close the gap. Super Mega Death Rocket did get thrown out, but it didn't really get the damage that he was after. There is going where Freddy pleases as it stands, and it is the middle inner turret that they are fancying, but they don't have Candy Panda with them, so I don't expect this one to last long. Not particularly long. We'll see how quickly the SK can respond, though, because the fact that Candy's late and that he's sticking to the split push has allowed Super Hot Crew this opportunity, and they're going in. They're going in. Can they catch on towards it? Cocoon lands back on towards Mimer, immediately forcing him back. The wave comes out. Freddy 1 2 2 joins the party from the back. They know that Mr. Rallis isn't here, so it's a straight up 4v4. Mr. Rallis will come in from the side in a moment. Sven Skerin get caught out quickly. Explosive gas has got minions to jump to. Mr. Rallis now in the fight. Candy Panda coming around the side. That's going to be the first kill for Moops. Will they go for anything else? They two members of Super Hot Crew here. This could lead to the tower. Aqua Prison was used. They are going to have to use the Dragon Descent Cross. He upgraded his GP10 to that talisman like we've seen from uh -oh. the side of Mixer. Oh, they've gone in on Mixer. Dragon Descent on Mixer. And Rates is just biding his time to get the idler. Duran He's actually taken a lot of damage from the call in there. Mr. Rallis doing good job running interference, but Impaler's been caught out. Explosive cast. Can it buy him time to get away from this one? For some reason, Freddy's deciding to target on towards Mima, the tankiest member of the team. He's just going to pop that ulti and run away. Is it going to be enough? Get slowed down. Has he got flash? Yes, he has. Doesn't even want to use it, though. He's just trying to buy as much time as he can. And honestly, I starts pushing as well. So a lot of options here for SK. And I think Super Hot Crew... They started the dragon. They're going to try to take this dragon, and SK are looking for the engage. Remember, they can take it quick at this stage. Mr. Rallis will do a lot of work to it. And you can see Sven Skerin, he's low already. He's going to come in. It's going to be SK, a super hot crew to pick it up. Idler Duran does pop in. Payne taken very low. Quick explosive cask force his candy panda away, but the super mega death rocket can get fired from range. And he gets himself a kill, followed by the double from Jezzes. Mimer's going to run for his life, and I think the force balls should be enough to slow him down once Jezzes gets on. Gets himself full health. I definitely think Esh is very effectively, and that's this. 
Yeah, that would have to be a very impressive briefcase to quiz. The moment a champion gets connected by that resident smite is Q, they immediately just poke him. There's an explosive cask. Only pulls in Freddy 122, not the champion you want. Certainly him in here, but Candy Panda takes a couple of tower hits. Does take him down to half health, but he's got that Guardian Angel now completed. Don't forget he's got the regen. A fair amount of damage. It wasn't enough to be scary. Mime has gone in. They're going in for it. It's going to be Impaler. They try and focus towards. He's taking all the front load from Candy Panda. Meanwhile, Island of Duran pops in there. Mime is taking a lot of damage. End rated will finally go down. And now Freddy122 tanking up the turret. He's tanking a little too much of the turret. He may go down, but no, he escapes. Meanwhile, the rest of the team push on through. Mr. Rallis forces them back, but it's a two for one. Only the support down. The they have to kill him multiple multiple times if they want to stop the fight and that's a dead Whoa, mixer that is a very dead mixer just quickly dropping straight on towards him and in fact stood on top of an SK gaming ward this is the one time I think that Oracle's lens would work and here uh -oh. comes in right in for the Durant Fall man idler Duran quickly followed by a burnout followed by an explosive cast followed by a force pulse and SK gaming just clean up that quickly you can see the rest of Super Hulk trying to back away. They don't care about that. That they were there, and the idol of Durant does not get interrupted. Now SK Gaming, they're on the Nexus turrets, and there's nothing that Super Hulk crew can do. Straight onto the turrets. They shouldn't be going for Mima, though, but they want to get that KDA stat buffed anyway. And still not going to get him. Yes, they do, finally on the turret. But it's the Nexus going down, and it's SK Gaming coming out on top. The battle of the... Boost moving into the next game. Castellan's going to have to be banned. You cannot let Cassidy through in this particular uh, style of play when you can roam, especially when you've got that teleport available in conjunction with